The spacecraft internal thrust propulsion system. Magnetic field electron interaction balance internal thruster. Consists of a synchrotron which is a particular type of cyclic particle accelerator. In which the accelerating electron beam travels around a fixed closed loop path. The magnetic field which bends the electron beam into its closed path increases with time during the electron condensing and accelerating process. Being synchronized to the increasing velocity of the electron particles. Using magnetic fields and electric fields to gather denser particles to increase densities and velocity over time. Synchronization with the speed and density of the electron particles and beam into the intensive magnetic field of propulsion system attached to the spacecraft. This will give Lorentz force. In physics, the Lorentz force is the combination of electric and magnetic forces acting on the charge. F equals QE plus QV cross B. Electron particle velocity accelerated and denser by the electron synchrotron will generate maximum current when passing through the electric field. And maximum force is obtained through the intense magnetic field in the propulsion chamber of the spacecraft. The force acting on the electric charge is divided into two parts. The electric field force and the magnetic field force. The electric field force is cancelled by the same electric field force from another set of the propulsion chamber. That work in parallel to balance the side of the spacecraft. The magnetic field force in the propulsion unit of the propulsion system. Both of which are in the same direction and outward. By placing the strong magnets of both propulsion units in order that the magnetic field are in opposite direction and also the direction of the electric field are opposite. The force generated by the magnetic field of both propulsion units is in the same direction. And combined to the direction of the outward direction of the spacecraft. In accordance with the Fleming's right hand rules. The force generated by the electric field of the propulsion units will both cancel out. When electron particles reach to the positive electrode plate simultaneous electric current flows back into the cathode. By which all the electrons in the electron beam did not come out of the propulsion chamber of the spacecraft. But Newton's third law say that every action must always have the same reaction. So the force from the magnetic field acting on the electron beam in both propulsion chambers must have reactions in the opposite direction through the strong magnetic field and magnets and directly affect to the spacecraft that make the spacecraft moves forward with significant acceleration. And once the spacecraft is able to generate internal thrust all the time. Also the spacecraft can move forward with continuous acceleration all the time. This means that the spacecraft can move continuously to the multiple speeds of light. This magnetic field electron interaction balance internal thruster concept is part of the intellectual property of Group Captain Sopan Charaswad.